Well, the uh, weekend storm knocked out power to hundreds of thousands of homes and businesses here across Metro Detroit. And at last check, more than 250,000 were still without power, and that's just the DTE Energy customers. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in Detroit with a look at some of the damage left behind. Matt, what do you have? Well, we're on Detroit's west side right now, and we're seeing a tree down. This is one of the many reasons that lines came down. Luckily, in this case, uh, no lines down, but unlucky for the homeowner here. We'll take a look at their car. I'm actually putting a light on here. You can see this tree came down on the street. This is Hubble Avenue, just south of 96. You can see where the tree did all this damage. We're actually going to walk around the side and show you. I mean, you can tell how much wind and how much ice was actually coming down when you see the size of this tree and what was actually able to come down. And it's not just happening here in Detroit. It Check this out. We want to show you some video that we took yesterday. Warren near 12 Mile DeQuinder. The fire you see here caught on camera by a WXYZ viewer. This is the result of a downed wire. It arced, started a fire. At least 10 vehicles ended up going up in flames at M53 Auto Sales. The aftermath, pretty obvious. Charred remains that were still smoking hours after the fire was put out by those emergency crews. I'm hearing that's at least $100,000 worth of damages. Now, the reality is we've seen down lines across Metro Detroit. In other parts, we've seen flooding. Whatever the cause, we know power is out for many people. So, as more of you struggle with power, we know generators will be firing up. Michigan State Police giving two key reminders here right now. One, that you keep generators outdoors in ventilated areas. Remember, fumes can be toxic, so don't just keep them outside, but also keep them away from the windows in your home. Here's another reminder that you might not think about when you're already dealing with so much else. People have stolen generators before. MSP recommends chaining generators down if possible. If you can't do that, at the very least, lock them up when they're not in use, especially if you're going to be leaving the house for work. Meanwhile, a lot of people, they probably don't want to be leaving the house for work because they're dealing with damage like this. Still trying to figure out how the homeowners can be dealing with this one, but the reality is this is the scene we're seeing play out time and time again throughout Metro Detroit. When you talk about those numbers, at one point we had 370,000 people without power. That's just the lines. Talking about stuff like this, we've got damaged homes, we've got damaged uh, cars, a little bit of everything throughout the area. Everybody just trying to pull together right now. Hey, we're live in Detroit's West Side. I'm Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. Thank you, Matthew.